Here at West Bank, we're really excited to sponsor Real Success, a new CBJ series featuring Iowa City's own Nate Kading. 2018 marks West Bank's 125th year of helping business owners and entrepreneurs find their own versions of success, whether that be opening a new store, planning for retirement, or anything in between. Please enjoy this edition of Real Success, hosted by Nate Kading, and thanks for watching. We're here with John Myers, the Executive Director of the Indian Creek Nature Center. John, thanks for taking the time. We're here in the outdoor wonderland that is uh, Indian Creek Nature Center, an awesome place for both kids and adults, uh, kids at heart, um, amazing facility, a uh, real jewel here in the corridor. Um, thank you so much for, for taking the time. We got our boxed water, totally bottled Absolutely, no bottled water here. And yeah, we have, we're glad uh, to have you out. Yes, but um, I guess just to dive in, would love to hear from you, just thinking back, um, some of your earliest memories as a child growing up, um, outdoors. I mean, what, yeah. what, what comes to mind? What were some of those those neat experiences you had out, out in nature? Well, I actually grew up in the mountains of Virginia. Okay. So I'm an Iowa transplant, moved here right before high school, but grew up and, and we lived out in the country. And I think one of the things I remember the most was tromping through the woods and building forts. Um, we, you know, we were in uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains area. And so beautiful, lots of trees, did a lot of camping, a lot of hiking, a lot of things that it was just natural to get outdoors. Sure. And uh, really, I had that ingrained in me from my parents because they loved being outdoors and doing those things. Ultimately, that's kind of what inspired me to um, work for the Boy Scouts and then ultimately work for the Nature Center is because of that love of the outdoors and, and those memories, you know, building tree forts when you're, you know, <laughs> You never forget. Yeah, absolutely. Were there some special camping spots you guys made annual trips to, or did you oh, get a good variety? Absolutely. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we did a, a ton of stuff around the Appalachian Trail and a lot of different the national parks out there. I mean, I, I, those are some of my fondest memories with my with my family and my friends was going out and doing some of those camping. And you know, it's not where you're at; it's the fact that you're outdoors and you're learning, you're engaging, you're having fun in a way that you just can't replicate inside. Yeah, and for adults, when I mean, you talk about the curated experiences, I, I just wrote a few of them down here, but I mean, you get to go outside, you get to learn how to do beekeeping, there's urban chickens, there's amazing outdoor concerts in the beautiful venue you guys have uh, back over here. There's the Maple Syrup Festival, the Backcountry Film Festival, Learn How to Paddle. Yeah. You guys have done an awesome job of programming and really um, finding awesome ways for adults to plug back into nature, ones that are really, you know, really love it to begin with, can continue to build on those skills. Talk a bit about um, just some of that adult nature programming that you guys do. What the Nature Center has always done since we were founded in the 70s is find ways to get people outdoors. For so many years that was focused around kids and but now we're giving a really strong opportunity for adults to get outside as well. And one of the most popular things has been our free yoga series mm -hmm. uh, during the summer every Tuesday night. You know there's there'd be nights we have 150 people out here That's on awesome. this patio yeah. doing yoga. And cottonwoods blowing by oh, their absolutely. face like they are now. And Last year we had ducks wander through the yoga crowd. I mean it was great. <laughs> it was like goat yoga. It was, you guys got into duck that yet? yoga. Yeah. yeah no, duck. not goat yoga. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we have our own duck yoga. So that's <laughs> But those types of experiences are what the Nature Center is about. Absolutely. We have always been an, an educator, but now we're really starting to take a look at creating those strong experiences. Mm -hmm. So when you come to Indian Creek, our goal is to create champions of nature. That's our vision. And we do that by educating and inspiring people. Yeah. So providing those experiences, whether it's the Backcountry Film Festival looking at winter sports or concerts at the creek, those are types of things that get people out to experience nature outdoors. There's not much education that goes around with some of those, but as more and more people come and have that positive experience, they start coming back for our educational programs as well. Sure. What, why is it important to be outside? And that's a very basic question, but I mean, from an adult's perspective, why, what benefits does being out in nature provide? Well, I mean, they're countless, and there's a ton of research studies out there. I mean, uh, a, a lot of universities have done some. There's been private individuals such as Richard Louvre and Aldo Leopold, all of those kind of history people within the nature movement. Um, but I think it really boils down to the fact that um, sun, soil, earth is also important to us. And if we're going to continue to connect uh, with who we are as individuals, as humans, then we have to realize that, that the land, 
uh, gives us everything. It gives us our food, it gives us our, our shelter. You know, everything that we develop comes from the land. And so having a respect for that, yeah. having an enjoyment for that is so important. Yeah. And that's why places like Indian Creek Nature Center or any of the other countless organizations throughout Iowa really make a strong impact because you're getting people to interact outside. And not everybody wants to come outside to learn about the butterflies or the birds, but they'll come outside for a concert or to ride a bike or to do yoga, things that are active, engaging, and just really allowing them to recenter. Switching gears just a little bit, I mean, you're not only you know the nature piece but you're also you know the executive director the you know the the head honcho here of an organization right of a nonprofit. Yeah. i know that, that nonprofit management is uh something you've spent a, a long part of your career and talk a bit about um you know what what's attracted you to the nonprofit sector um you know what are some of the challenges that you guys are currently seeing here at the at indian creek nature center mm -hmm. just a bit about um the work that you do as yeah. the executive director well so i have a degree in business and uh I actually got into nonprofits by happenstance. I, I started out working part time at Foundation Two in Cedar Rapids during college, and I just kind of fell in love with the the mission oriented side of it. But one of the things that I always feel like nonprofits don't really focus on is the opportunity to truly be successful from a business standpoint, from an innovation standpoint. Sure. And. We have a lot of great people in, in the field of nonprofits that really want to make an impact, that want to make a difference and get into it because of that. But you really can't be truly effective in delivering on a mission unless you really take a look at what I call the difference between the abundance mentality or the deficit mentality. Mm -hmm. So many people, and this is not just nonprofits, business have the same problem. They focus on what they can't do. They sure. don't have enough money, time, resources, and that ultimately start, starts to limit people and they, they don't vision, they don't think about the future. Right. So we did a paradigm shift here at Indian Creek and I learned this throughout my career. You focus on what you want to do. You focus on the abundance and you start repeating to yourself, to your team, to your board every single time that this vision is possible. What we are setting out to do, well, it may be, it may be tough, it may cost a lot of money, it's ultimately going to make an impact. That's how we've been able to really transform Indian Creek Nature Center. Um, we've more than doubled our staff, we've more than doubled our budget since we've opened, and ultimately it's sustainable because uh, we have had over 81,000 people come through the property last year, and that makes us the most visited cultural destination in Lynn County That's in awesome. 2017. Sure. Uh, we Gets were... more people engaged, and that leads to more Absolutely. gifts and opportunities for earned revenue and however that might... Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And so being operationally proficient from a financial side to a human resources to a culture side, culture is a huge piece. Um, those really drive success and oftentimes those are the last things to be focused on by a nonprofit. Yeah. So my role, I often get asked, you know, how much time do I spend in the woods as the executive director of the Nature <laughs> Center? And unfortunately, it's not much. You know, sure. my job is is to focus on those areas that will truly make the organization successful. So while this is my office in many senses, I, you know, doing a lot of uh, relationship building and fundraising and business management are really key to the Nature Center's success. Sure. That and having a strong vision. Absolutely. Without a strong vision, we're, just, we're not going anywhere. And that ultimately, that's what drove the success of Amazing Space, is we set a bar for environmental sustainability, for construction sustainability, mm -hmm. in a way that nobody in Iowa has achieved before. How would you define, you mentioned the culture here within your organization and your board, how would you define that culture? Um, it's one of risk-taking, calculated risk-taking, and it's also one of saying yes. Um, I think the best thing that, that an organization can do is be open to possibilities. Some of the best things that have come our way, come my way, have been because I said yes. Sure. In fact, um, I was not even looking for a job at Indian Creek Nature Center when it came available and it was not on my radar at all, had never worked in an environmental organization, so it was not in my wheelhouse until I said yes. But sure. because I said yes, we ended up here. Absolutely. And that's the, that I think is the philosophy and the culture that our team really tries to have and our board certainly has. Well, John, we end every interview with my favorite part, which is our rapid fire questions. Get, get a little look behind the curtain on, um, on what's going on, uh, you know, in your life and how you view the world. Uh, one of one of my favorite parts. Um, we'll jump right into it here. Some of the questions just off the top of your head. How about a motivational quote or something that you would hang up on your office wall if, if you could pick one? There's always been one that, uh, that I've uh, enjoyed and 
it goes uh, like this. It says, to work for those that you love and for the things that you love is to turn work into play and play into duty. Awesome. And I, I just think that if you're not doing what you love, then you're, you're missing out. Yeah, that's great. Uh, 30 extra minutes in each day, what would you do with it? Spend it with my kids. Okay. Absolutely. Family is the most important piece. And while I devote a lot of time to the Nature Center and the community, family is absolutely most important to me. Great. Uh, and then the last one, favorite question, in one sentence, how would you define success? The ability to seek joy. Success for me is not attendance, it's not money, it's not the ability to uh, be the most recognized in the community. It's about Am I happy? Am I seeking happiness for my family, my team at work, my board, the people I'm around? That, first and foremost, I think makes a huge difference on everybody. Awesome. Well, thank you, John, for joining us for the, for the conversation. Um, it's been another great edition of Real Success. And thank you so much for the important work you're doing here in the community and everything you and your staff are doing here at Indian Creek Nature Center is just a tremendous asset for all of us here in the entire corridor. So thank you so much for, for all your hard work. And, Look forward to getting my kids back out here sometime soon. Nate, it's glad to have you out here. It's a beautiful day to uh, enjoy nature, so come out whenever. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yep.